thousands of dollars in tools stolen. Thousands of dollars in tools. Go figure. But especially the way I left them. But welcome to California. On top of that, I got some deals on cars. And I got this one as a make me an offer. Make me a reasonable offer. You can hit me up on Facebook and you can, you know what, if you want to make an offer, you can hit me up on Facebook to talk. But I probably don't want to talk. Because I ain't got time to talk, everybody. And a word about that. Man, I have so many people contacting me just wanting to talk about what car they have. Just wanting to talk about this. And it's not that I'm not into it. I'm at my wit's end on trying to run my business and get things cleaned up around here right now. It's a serious time and it's a grind time for me. I'm grinding. I'm working my butt off. And I, with that in mind, I get people calling me from every country wanting to work and do work with me or for me or something. It's like, you're not in the same country. You're, they, they want to do internet work. It's like, dude, come on, man. I can't even fucking think about internet work right now because I got so much work work to do. And now with Rich here, I got some help help. But all the different people that want to help, man, I see the comments and I try and respond. And after I try and respond, some people, I had a guy call yesterday. And you know who you are. And I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. But dude, I don't connect on this level. Hey, like, you're, you're messaging my, my, my freaking woman. You're messaging my, my close friends and calling and Chuck. And you're messaging my mom and my son. And like, dude, you're messaging my fucking baby? I mean, come on, man. I mean, you might have meant well in the beginning, but at the end, it just comes off stalkerish. And like, I am sorry, but I just, yeah, I gotta change the way I do things. I ain't got time for all that stuff. I can't deal with everybody. I get 300 messages a day, minimum, minimum. I can't even, when I come in, I'm scrolling up on stuff just to even, I can't even find it. So, yeah. If you wanna make an offer, make a call. Call me up. Be a man. One owner car guy. One owner car guy.com. Bright sunny day in San Diego. I drove straight through. Yesterday we left at about 12.30. Got in today about 12.45 or so. I don't know. One o'clock. Um, stopped. Did all kinds of stuff. Had fun. Got the cars worth here. All that good stuff. So I am going to go over what's here real quick. Just talk real quick. I've got a great video for tomorrow. I didn't want to put it up today. I wanted to walk around this lot because I hadn't seen it yet. Well, in a month. And before that, two months. Ander, that's got to get out of here, man. This one and the Lincoln are going. They're out of here. I've got the Durango, and it's a great little truck. And this Mustang, I had a guy I talked to today. But this thing, you know, in this video, I'm just going to put out a couple specials. That's what I'm going to do. Get this car out of here. I'll take 1850 The torque press wheels, everything. It's as is. I can't smog it. It's got a bad tranny. Etc. Etc. But it's a great runner, great car, until it's set and the tranny went out. You might be able to adjust it and stuff, but adjust it. Um, oh damn it! I can't think of what I mean. Hang on a second. Let me put this. Down. Service it. There we go. You might be able to service it and get it going, but the seats are in great shape. I don't service things because then when they go bad, I feel bad. Get out of here. 1850, man. It's cheap. Torque press wheels worth 600 bucks. Um, W140. Talk to a guy on this. Man, the clear coat's all gone. That's what it is. It's just sitting here in the sun. And it's been years. Um, the tires, the tires are shot. They are shot. Shot, shot, shot. The rims, the rims, chrome's all peeling on. If you want chrome rims in these, well, there you go. You better find someone that does some chrome work. Because that ain't got no chrome. And that's what I want you to know. I want to be very upfront about this. Why would you do that to your wheel? Well, I feel bad that I did that to my wheel. I really do. But you know what you're dealing with. Because, like, look, there's no doubt about what's happening here. All this is coming off. I had to get my pins out of here this time. This window's cracked. Besides that, these seats and everything inside are in great shape. This is a beautiful car. I believe it's got 80,000 miles. Somebody threw a rock into that with a weed eater. Look at this. Just gorgeous. I'll get, I put a cheap price on there last time. If you want this, it's so cheap it's pitiful. The Elante, Andrew, you say you want it? Well, okay. I guess that's not for sale right now. Unless somebody beats him to the punch. What day is this? This is Friday. Andrew, I gotta have money on that by Monday. That's just where I am. If not, I gotta sell it to somebody else. I've already made a video on it. 
and I gotta sell it to somebody. This will probably take to Montana. I'm gonna put a video up. I made a deal on this, a steal of a deal. And if you're interested, it's a great car. Go check out the video. We got it running since the main video. God, I'm so serious. Jeez, them doors usually sag, man. Not these. They must not be from Sagna. Ha ha ha! This car, I'm telling you what, low, low mile C126 or W126. Um, check us out. I don't remember the miles. I can't remember this shit anymore. 41,000 miles. And I'm here to get rid of this. This beautiful car. Just absolutely gorgeous car. Before we view on my channel, I show the areas that we're doing this on the top. Well, now they're doing that, of course, just like I would have expected them to. The top surfaces need redone. And that would include this panel here. This piece has got some fading. Other than that, you know, the sides are really nice. It's a great clean car. But the top surfaces on this car seem to have taken a little bit of sun damage on it. Great car. And I got it on my site for more money, but I'll sell it cheap. This thing here. Get it out of here. I got to get this out of here. It's a great car. It's got the Lorenzo package. I never even made a video of this. Lorenzo. 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 I don't know. I don't know how to say none of that stuff. And it's because somebody else is always going to say it different and I'm going to be wrong. I ain't trying to be wrong. You're... The... the way you say it is right. I agree with you. Buy my car. That's what I'm saying when I say Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Lorenzo. I don't fucking... You call it whatever you want. Just buy it. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. 99. 154, I believe, on it. Yeah, 154. And it's straight as can be. It's got a head gasket issue. And I shut it off. I didn't want to run it. It's running great. It's, it's, well, obviously, besides the head gasket. But it runs good. Everything on that is good. But once it warms up, nah, you can tell it's not running right. It's got a frayed belt. And it just needs some stuff like that. I'm going to do a video on it at some point here. Maybe this trip. All right, we'll take 1950. Get this thing out of here. It's super cheap. I just did a video on this saying 2450. It's so cheap. I'm gonna wash this thing up, get it out of here. I'll just take it to the auction. I don't care. I might do a another walk around with some more cheap prices. I don't know. You know, it's funny. You put this stuff. I'll, I'll rant about that in a minute. Beautiful W123. Get it out of here. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, yeah. Why am I walking around this stuff without giving prices on everything? Well. <laughs> Someone locked my door. Nice, 98,000 miles. 91, 97. It's yeah, somewhere in there, right? Great shape. Nice car, very nice car. Okay, that's what's over here. As you can see, that one's gone. Max, I had you asking me about the Trans Am in the back. It's gonna be coming out of the back very, 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 very soon. Wonder how good these hoses are after sitting out here in the fucking sun all this time Fuck. that's not a very nice thought is it wonder how much my tools are left oh that got left like that let's see let's see what we got left here gone gone Craftsman. This was the one with the good ones, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, all my snap-on. Most of that's still there. Yeah, it's still there. You know what? Somebody might have came and took them drawers. I'm gonna look in these. We'll tell you right now. <laughs> I think I lost a bunch of wrenches. I really do. Someone local to see my video came by and got them. Yep. I lost some tools. If you look at that tool video. I guarantee you, someone took in the gate and took my tools bye bye. Wow. Well, this is the way it goes, I guess. What am I going to do? Yeah, there's stuff missing. Oh well. Yeah, there was definitely some stuff in there. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, it was snap-on wrenches. So, 
still got a couple snap-ons. But yeah, that's... Am I amazed? No. Hadn't lost anything in a while, so... I guess it's time somebody comes and steals something, right? Wow. Lost all kinds of stuff. Never thought about that till just now. This one I know was empty. That one had a lot of stuff in it, man. Hang on now, hang on now. Have I got some of it up here? There's some of it. Look at that, the myofafire. <laughs> Myerplier! Yeah, some of this is still good stuff, but man, there's some stuff missing. Welcome to California. Welcome to California. Neighbors? Someone who watched a video of my dumb ass not being able to take them back? I don't know. All I know is all the pain and suffering is almost over. And I'm going to be out of here. And I truly am just fed up with this place. Um, it's been a good place, but what it's turned into is a complete nightmare as far as the raised rent and stuff. And the nightmare, I guess, came from the big lot and having all the cars. So now all I can do is keep moving forward and getting rid of shit. And the shit's getting rid of, and what else can you do? I can't scrap a lot of these. Uh, they're not, the well, when I look at all these cars, when I look out here at all this stuff, I think about how nice the Elante is, the GTA. Now, what car would you pick out of all this stuff to take back to Montana that you really wouldn't sell? I know which one's the most valuable here. Shk. That car is one valuable mofo. Second is going to end up being this thing. I get a lot of hate on this one. Hey, you're rich out of here. No, whatever. These two are nice. That's a Frankenstein, but it's a very cool Frankenstein. So with all this in mind, what does the guy do with all this junk? Look at all the weeds, man. They've grown up. That's just since me and Rich were gone, uh, gone a month ago, man. Grown like crazy. Back in the door, there was nothing here. And now look at that. Some, if I had tomato plants growing here, I'd be the man. Andrew, that's coming your way. These two here I'm selling so cheap it's pitiful. Man, I don't care. Get them out of here. Make me an offer. There you go. I'm going to do a video about that. Make me an offer. If you don't hear a price on something here, make me an offer. That's, that's it. Seriously, I, I'm selling them cheap. And as long as it's a reasonable offer, I might be interested. Um, I might have this Dodge gone again. This guy finally called back. It's been a long time. Not selling that. I'm not selling that. I'm just walking around. I've been up for 47 hours or something. I've been taking uh, energy pills like the stinking uh, candy corn or something. I used to make energy pills, and I've got a, a stock load of them. I got a lot of them. Great car. For instance, I would take... Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's so clean. I would take... 1450 bucks. Just get it out of here. I had a guy ask me about that bike. I could throw it on the trailer. He's saying if I think it's a good deal or I think it'll run. I had some dumb dumb take that off. So now it's missing some pieces. They were in a bucket around here. But, oh, there it is. There's the pieces. That's, they were put right by it. So that's the pieces for it. Most of them. And they were probably stacked on that pallet and fell off. Thank God the hose is here, so nothing would have rolled away. Rolled away. It's all that. Ah, I'm going to have to put that on a pallet, get it out of here. I don't know, Craigslist. Whatever. What? Whatever. I'm done. I just got in. It's Friday night. I'm going to put this video up, and I'm going to go to the gym take a shower, man. It's been a while. Tomorrow, new video. It'll be a premiere. I'm going to set the premiere for tonight to where I all can see it and it can be ready. Um, let's just say... Um, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock for the premiere. And I'll click that up. If you see the premiere and it's 8.30, <laughs> it means I changed my mind. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, things are going to be a lot different here on this channel soon. And with the sighting and stuff coming up and everything I've been working on to change, I got a another little business in the hat rack here that I'm going to be bringing out to the forefront real soon. Um, it's just different changes and I'm going to have a different way of doing the cars. It's really cool. I'm going to start getting rid of some of the stuff everywhere. This stuff, man, 
when I go to the other lot, a lot of it's going to be crushed. And look back through my uh, lot reviews, and you'll see that there's a lot of stuff up there, and so it's nice. I mean, I'm talking hundreds of dollars for some of these cars. I'm just totally, totally just kind of over it. It's just so much from a guy. And, and I just, even if I work 12 hours a day and don't do work for seven or something and sleep for five, I worry for the whole 24 or 25. And so it's just honestly too much stuff right now. And I've got to change the way I work on things and the way I do things because it's not a good pile. I can't even go get my tooth fixed and stuff. I don't have time to even take time for the things I need to do. And I just don't do it no more. I don't work out the way I should. I make a video about that. But I'm just running ragged to go in between. In fact, I gotta go back up to Montana. I should leave Thursday. We'll probably end up leaving Friday night late, Saturday morning. I gotta be there Sunday to load up Monday for auction and then get everything ready to where Tuesday I can go to court for the ticket and Tuesday night leave, maybe Wednesday and come back down here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna get things fixed and in order and I'm gonna get some rest at some point today. And I thank all of you for watching. Come watch tomorrow. I'll be back making a mess of things. We'll see you.